little bit better. Okay, so today um, we will be making some pajama pants. I think it's a beginner's project because I am a beginner. So um, I won't be using anything fancy. I'll just be using my, oh, sorry, my good old-fashioned Martha Stewart sewing machine. Um, also, you will need, um, this if you use a, a rotary cutter, you'll need a cutting board, which I have here, a cutting table. Um, she's a little tall, so I got a yard and a half of fabric just in case because I'll make it mittens too. Dang, I just gave you a hint on what the next one's going to be, some fingerless mittens or whatnot, whatever. So I got a half of, uh, a yard and a half of um, fleece because it's cold up here. So uh, some fleece. You'll need the pajamas, like a, um, a hair her, your whoever you're making pajamas or McCall's pattern uh, M5248. This is for a large and a tall. So this is what it this is what the pattern consists of. So you can use this also to make them, but I'm about to show you how to do it if you don't have these. And you're doing them like for yourself and your child. So we have her PJs. And um I I'm gonna be using my rollery cutter. So I got my cutter and um fabric scissors. Uh, for all you newbies who's like who are like me, you really need just a pair of fabric scissors. Tell you, uh, what how Anton said, uh, tell your wife, tell your kid, tell you whatever. Y'all know what I'm trying to go with, it, but tell them don't mess with these. Get one with a loud color or put tape on them to say fabric. Because my kids know if I catch them with these green scissors, I'm gonna beat them to death. No, I'm just playing. And um, if you got a pattern, you need some paper scissors. And I just use these regular raglan ones. Okay, you guys. So I am about to get myself situated. And I'll see you in a minute. Well, here I am. I have it here on the fold, as you can see. And I will just take her pants. And I will... You see why I'm making her some more look the crotch. She a little long, so I'm gonna leave a little off the ends here to give me a little extra. Okay, now you're just gonna fold it over. To try to, uh, not to try to, you would get it. Just put this side here right on the fold like so. See how I got that right on the fold. And then this area here, you're going to make sure that you be right at the seam. Try to get as, as close to the seam as you possibly can. Like I said, it's always easier to take away than it is to bring back. So... If you got a little too much, I got to put a little bit more on my. Okay, now you see how I have this little peak. I got it nice and I'm going to just cut it out right around here. Just cut it out. It's on the fold as you can see. This side doesn't matter because I'm just tracing this one. So you make sure you have it nice and even. Okay, now let's get ready to cut it all out. Try to leave yourself a little seam allowance so that you will have room to sew. So I left myself about five eighths and then I left a little bit extra at the top so that I can fold it over. Fine. And I just always take this because my thing not that big. 
So I just take this and just go through. Oh yeah, woo hoo, that thing cut like butter on that cutting mat. Butter. All right. See, I got one leg here. Okay, now we're ready to cut out the other leg. Okay, so this is what you should have so far. Now, <clears throat> this is what we're going to sew from right here all the way down to here and right here all the way up to here. And then after we do that, I'm going to show you how we're going to do the leg part. So I'll see you in a minute. And I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to stitch mine twice. Only reason why, because my kids just seem to bust out their crotches. So I try to reinforce my crotch as much as I can. I'm about to put my tension on one. And then I'm about to put my stitch on a zigzag. So... Okay. Let me show you guys. I don't know if you can see that, but that's what my stitches look like. I hope you guys look similar. Okay, you guys, I got both of my pieces uh, sewed up, fake surged, and zigzagged at the proper spots that I know my kids need them done. So what I'm going to do is take one leg and turn it the right side out okay that'll help if you take the pins up Shauna okay. see I'm looking at these right now like these might be a little too wide for sure okay now you're gonna stick this leg here inside of this leg like so Okay, grab your pins. And first thing you're going to do is pin the crotches. Now the seam, one seam should be going this way. The other seam should be going this way. So I am about to pin those. We're going to pin this side and then do the same thing on the other side. Now, as you can see, I'm all pinned up. Let me hold it right here because I'm going to try to draw something on it. Clutching. Okay, let's take it to the sewing machine. Okay, you guys, now, as you can, hopefully that you will be able to see that. But I have it all pinned up. Let me zoom it in for you. Just in case. Oh, come on, button, channel. Okay, you see how I got it all picked. Penny pen pens. Penny pens. Okay. Pull your sewing machine back over. Now we're gonna <laughs> sew up the crotch. Okay. You're gonna do a thing called Crouch so wet. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, but let's not sew that pin. Okay. I like to put it back on my straight stitch. Two. All right, guys, let's go. Whoa. 
almost ran over that pen, 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 pen. Yeah, I went over that a few times. Let's pawn, pawn. Okay. That was perfect time. Almost done. You guys, let's do a pull out. I know y'all like, yuck. How much y'all do this be? Hey, you guys, y'all ready for the boil? It's the front side because look, the back got a little extra booty in your tooch, booty in your tooch, tooch, booty in your tooch, booty in your tooch, 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 booty in your tooch. Okay, you guys, I'm about to go crochet. Okay, guys, now this is what the pants look like on Shay, which they are good. I see that. Let me see, sit up at. Right now will be the time where I will cuff up the bottom. I'm just cuffing it up this way. So I know how much I need to cuff. Whoa, you a shorty fan. Okay, and then you get the elastic. And see this elastic, I'm reusing it. So I'm about to go around and get it real quick. Sorry. Sorry guys. But you would take the, your elastic. Can you hold your jacket up, Shay? And then you would just go around. Like so, see, I know I need that snug, or you want it tighter? This good? Okay. So I will pinch, and I know this is how much elastic I need to go around. So I'm going to do the uh, thing, do a cuff around the top, and then I'm going to show you how I do the elastic around the band. See you in a minute. Okay, now Shay grows like a weed, so instead of... Um, doing a really harsh stitch right here i'm gonna just do um a light stitch so that if i need i'm leaving this much on there so if i need to take it apart and lower the leg a little bit i still have room to do it because then she not gonna get no bigger she gonna get taller and let's face it you guys ain't nobody got time to keep making kids pajamas all the time so that is what I am going to do. Nope, I ain't about to do that. I'm about to make sure that they're both even. And then I'm about to pin. That pin, as you can see, like that. I'm about to pin this part up here you do around your band you need to leave a little bit open so that we can weave the elastic through and then we're going to do a straight a straight stitch where or um what is that thing called an hourglass stitch where you go straight across straight like you know or you can just do a few zigzags you just want to make sure this is strong because it's going to get the most wear and tear besides the crotch area so i got it pinned up and now we're about to bring out the sewing machine and we're about to sew it up and then after that we should be done guys now um I, my machine has this little thing so i take it off so that I can get the pants leg around it. So let's get ready to switch it back to your straight stitch. Don't forget it. Put your tension on one. And let's sew. Okie dokie. Now let's sew the uh, band around the top. Make sure you pin it good. And just to remind yourself. Cause you wanna be, you wanna be at the back 
when you go to oh, this is the back. You want to make sure that the elastic is in the back. And you can tell that it's the back because it's um mm -mm. sorry, you can tell it's the back because it's gonna be a, a um some extra material back there for your bum. So that's how you can tell that that's the back. And you're gonna mark two X's, not two X's, just like two little. Put a pins in the shape of an X. Where you're gonna start and stop because you have to leave a little open space so you can thread your elastic in. So it should look like that. You see how I got the X right here and the X right here. That's all you need is a little space so that you can push the elastic through. I'll show you how to do that once we get there. So I put my extender boy back on. And again, I'm going to do it. Whoa. On the. Uh oh. There we go. So you can move your sewing machine over. If you like me. Okay, let's take these pins out. Got my hem in. Turn on my hem. What is this thing called? A band in. So let me find my elastic, which is here. Let me look in my container here and get a um, grab two safety pins. As organized as I can ever be. I'll never be no more organized than this. Okay, now you're going to take your elastic and put the bobby pin through it. Not the bobby pin. The safety pin through it. So it should look like this. I hope you guys can see it. Okay, now you're going to go through your hole, which my hole is here. See, now I already measured this. I know this is shave, the length of shave, plus an inch. So the inch is for me to have something to sew onto to close it. And then you're just going to use the bobby pin, the safety pin, sorry. And just thread it through. The other bobby pin is for, safety. thank you, safety pin is for you to do the same thing, but for you to pin at the end, like so. So now you won't lose it when you're pulling it through. But as you can see, got both ends out. Ah. Okay, you guys, let me just tell you a little trick of this trade. Don't use these little dollar store safety pins. I hope y'all can see. Don't use these with the crop. You need the big, a big safety pin. Stupid. Just piss me. Well, this is the last thing you got to do. We're going to sew the elastic together. Let's make sure that it is not tangled. All right. Let's close it up. And I am done. We done. You got we done. We done. You got we done. Done. Diggity 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 done. Yeah, we done. Okay, just try to clean up your um. Your strings. But as you can see, I hit the most important ones really good. We're going to turn. Oh, yeah, this is my fake tag. Right there, you see the pink. Like a little tongue, but yeah. I'm going to turn them the right way. As soon as I get this left thing, bing. Hey, Delphi. Coffee Monday. And you guys, look, we're done. You can't even open the door. Perfect. Okay, you guys, I'm about to get her to try them on and make sure that you like the video. If you really like the video, it will be nice. 100 likes, and I will hurry up and upload my second uh, 
day of five days until Christmas, which will either be mittens uh, or gloves. One or the other. I don't know yet. I'll figure it out. But yeah. Anyway, see you at the end. Bye, guys.